Financial freedom, enabling lifestyle freedom, utilizing the principles of compounding and leverage according to Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant. Welcome, Daryl Lufton here. I look forward to connecting with you and helping you achieve your goals and dreams. At the age of 16, I began my working career as a mechanic. After completing my apprenticeship, I realized that being an employee and trading my time for money was not for me. At the age of 22, I pivoted to an alternative medicine practitioner career with big dreams and goals. In 1998, I became very unhappy with the financial rewards that my clinic was producing, and I read Robert Kiyosaki's best-selling book, Cash Flow Quadrant. I realized that I was still really just trading my time for money in my practice, just like an employee, and that I did not have a real business. That is the business that will run for you whether you're there or not, which is one of the two main keys of financial success according to Robert's book, Cashflow Quadrant. In 2005, I completed a postgraduate diploma in management studies, the first half of a Masters of Business Administration degree, an MBA at Waikato University. For a long time now, I've been looking for the ideal low barrier to entry, high income generating real business online that is affordable and doable for the average person. Patience paid off and I believe I've found it. It's called on passive. Why on passive? On passive truly is a fully automated online business that runs for you whether you're present or not after you set it up. Obviously, if you do some sharing, the more you will get out of on passive. On passive provides a full suite of above market value, f some free and some paid digital solutions to individuals as well as small and large enterprises. Disruptive physical products are also in development. In addition, I love that our mission is to serve and uplift humanity and that we are the correction for the corruption. We are here to help improve people's lives for the better. Ash Mufara, the CEO of On Passive, is in my opinion a brilliant businessman, pioneer, visionary, philanthropist, humanitarian leader, inspirer, coach and friend. What Ash has done with On Passive has never been done before. It's a new paradigm shift of business creation, development and management. I believe that what Marty DiGamo said is true, that on passive will be studied in business schools in the not too distant future as a revolutionary business model. And on passive will be life support for many struggling businesses. Ash Mufara has group consciousness as many of our other leaders have, often saying we are our brother's keeper, which is a hallmark of high developed souls from the research that I have done. He certainly is a very different CEO, not really a CEO, more a friend, mentor, coach, aspirer and visionary leader. With On Passive, I now have complete faith that my future is financially secure and that I will leave a legacy for my family that I would never have been able to have left before On Passive. I would love to show you the reality of On Passive, the huge income opportunity for us all, the positive impact we are having, the full potential of this disruptive groundbreaking project, which is more than a company, more than a movement, it is a revolution to uplift humanity. Hey, 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 Magic Unicorn of Passive! It's Saturday, December 2nd. I see Chris Johnson still under the weather, but today, guess who's joining Marty live? The one and only Jeffrey Morlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a good one. See you on the inside. Don't forget, subscribe, ring that bell, and give him a thumbs up. I can't handle him, Jeffrey. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, thank you, everybody, for coming. And as the unicorn said, it's the 2nd of December. I cannot believe it. Um, my little brother... Chris Johnson still under the weather, but he's getting better. And I was very fortunate, and I've always wanted to do a live with Mr. Jeffrey uh, Morlock, and I got the opportunity today. Um, and I've always wanted to say, you know, up on Gilligan's Island, I used to watch it all the time. I used to say the Professor and Mary Ann. Well, I get to say the Professor and Marty D. Here on a passive live, there we go. Always wanted to be able to say that. The professor. You got the professor and Crazy Marty. I don't know what's going to happen today, but fasten your seatbelts. We all we both speak from the heart, and we uh, 
are in absolute love with on passive the ceo and the big family that we have created for me going on five years for jeffrey over five years i believe now so it's a long time but time flies when you're having fun and you're around people that are positive what i wanted to say you know we um me and jeffrey are not scripted kind of guys and that's okay because it makes it easier i bounce off people jeffrey's the same way i i knew that from the beginning um when you love something you don't need a script uh, it's like talking about your children. You know about your children better than anybody. So what I was thinking last night, you know, as we're, we're doing um, Minnow and they had a celebration for um, Collins's 50th birthday. And I think about what a great guy he is. And I, and I would have never met him if it wasn't for on passive. I wouldn't have met Jeffrey. There's no reason for our lives to be even cross. But I believe all these things. I don't believe in accidents as much as I just believe when the door's there and you hear that knock, open it. If you don't, then you might <laughs> miss things in life. And I've been very fortunate and blessed that no matter how many times I fell, I just looked at that as an experience and I got back up and kept going. It didn't discourage me. Like the concept of MLM, I love the concept of MLM. I just don't like MLM. <laughs> the concept is great, but how they packaged it in the world is uh, it's corrupt. And it's just it's not a smart concept to say to everybody in the world, listen, one or two percent of the people are going to drive the traffic and 98 percent of the people are going to fail. Doesn't sound like a good business model to me. I didn't like it when I was in it. Didn't realize how bad it was until years go by. And the more you learn, the more you find out this is almost disgusting. I mean, I, I didn't like the idea when I'm looking in people's eyes and saying, I'm going to help you. You're going to do great. Where in my heart, I knew that's just not true. It, it, it's not going to be. Well, numbers don't lie. And the game was rigged against people. So, yeah, if you had 10 years, you have full time, you could learn this concept and, and do what they call as marketing. But when you get into a business and the game is a game that is always moving and depending on what company, they change the rules of the game a little bit, even while you're there. But in the meantime, they're telling you, they're giving you, you know, a, a prep course of you're doing really good. In 90 days, you're going to make a hundred grand. If you do what I'm doing, look for 500 no's to keep going, make a list, go to your guy. Yeah. All the ladies and men out there, if you've done this even a month, you know that doesn't work. It's not going to work. It's never worked. And I remember I was naive. I got into this business back in 2004 when I wound up on disability. And I said, hey, that's a pretty neat concept. You work, you you build, and, and, and the, your efforts, you get, you can make more. And you know, anyway. And found out it wasn't quite what I thought. And as time went on towards the end, right before I on passive found me, I like to say, I uh, was ready to quit because I didn't like the idea that I'm dragging people along and they, what good is it to go celebrate? Hey, we're going to Disney World by myself. It doesn't make sense. What fun is that? I want to celebrate with people that we grew with. I want to see everybody do well. I know because I was blessed to know, learn what I did, that I'm passive as a gold mine for me, no matter what. If, if ass doesn't give me anybody, I, that would be fine. I'm no joke. But to know that everybody gets an even playing field. Ash invented the game. He made it so that everybody can hit a grand slam. You don't have to be a slugger. You're going to hit a grand slam. He made everybody a hero. Everybody's going to be a perfect marketer because the tools are built in, automated. You can be a bodybuilder and not lift any weight. They do all the weightlifting. And you can do very well financially for you and your family, and you don't have to be an accountant or a banker. Um, I don't know what else we're looking for in life but that. And on top of that, we built, we built relationships, which I'm reminded of every night when I go to different webinars and whether it's somebody's birthday or whatever. And I think, my 
gosh, I know somebody on every continent in the world. I could travel anywhere right now and people would invite me to their homes. That's the business we're in today. And if you're watching this for the first time, I don't care if today or six months from now, and or you're on Jeffrey's YouTube channel, wherever you're at, anybody in on passing, listen to the theme. The theme is the same. You know, I, I know what happens to people because I used to do it. You hear about something, you hear a name, you hear a person, and the first thing you want to do is Google it. And the problem, hey, the dog's barking. Anyway, and the first thing that you do is you Google it. And like I have said to people, don't go on after. Like I said to people, Google is a search engine. You go there, you ask a question, it, it gives you a result. It's not a truth engine. And I've said this over and over and over. You still have to do your due diligence. If you put in something about somebody that people know, you're going to hear the negative first. I don't know why that is. I don't know what happened to this world that negative is so popular. Because you, everybody gets bad mouth. And I go, man, that's not fair. I don't even know what, you know. So now when I, because of my experience, you know, I, I came in on passive. Any business I did, I came in and I said, I want to know who is this man that's doing this concept. And back then, it was not what it is today. It was, I thought if, if, if they could do 10% of what he's saying, people are going to do pretty well. But to think this came out of it, I'm blown away. I mean, totally lost off my rock. I, I couldn't even imagine where we are today. No way. But like I said, first time, first time in my entire life that I got into a business and it got bigger and better every day, every month, every week, no, every, always getting bigger and it's better than you think and bigger. And it sounds so insane. People look at you and say, Oh, he's tricking people. He doesn't believe what he's saying. I believe every every word I'm saying. And Jeffrey will tell you the same thing when he when he talks. I listen. I just want everybody to know. Um, I didn't know where I was going, but I want everyone to know that watches this and founders and even people that aren't in yet. If you're not in, get in. It's free. Look around. If you don't like it, leave. Don't pull out your credit card. Don't give us your wallet. You can't anyway. Come in, look around. If you like what you see, stay. If you like positivity and you like people that believe in we are our brothers and sisters keepers, I think you'll be happy here. But I want to tell people that are in, and I keep hammering this home. If you're in and you and you have anxiety or you're worried, let that go. All the hard stuff's being done for us. We don't have to do it. But I want you to realize, I don't care what your dream was when you were younger. I don't even care what it is now. You'll never outdream or outrun or outthink on passing. So when Ash tells you dream bigger, he's not joking. And listen, I don't have to know everything that's going on in on passing. I can look from right now back a year and a half and I am blown away. And I believe I only see the tip of the iceberg. And if that's what I'm seeing and the past has anything to do with what's coming next, I have no questions. I'm just going to sit back, get an oxygen tank because I think I'm going to pass out and, and take this ride, this magic carpet ride that the, uh, Master Genie invented, and I'm going to write it for all it's worth. And I want to collect, I want people to come on that deserve a better life. I want the people to come on that have been ripped off, beat up, deceived, lied to, uh, small print, little letters. Oh, if you do this, I'll make you this. If you do, if you're tired of that and you want upfront, clear as the bell, clear as the whistle, come down passive. And test it for yourself. That's the beauty of it. You don't don't you don't know me. I could be a big lion idiot. I'm going to tell you this: if you're watching this and you want to look at it, don't. You do not have to sign up with me. And no joke. I would never sit at an MLM. 
because you're grabbing everything you can get. It, it does not matter here. You'll see what I mean. No joke. Anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Jeffrey because if I don't, I'll take the whole hour. And I really want to hear what Jeffrey has to say. And I told him, no holds bar. Jeffrey can do whatever he wants. So remember, he's the man. So who knows what might happen. Jeffrey, it's all yours, buddy. <laughs> well, thank you so very, very much. I, I appreciate being here, Marty. And yeah, I, I could probably start and talk for a long time on a lot of the points that you just hit. Um, but maybe a little off to a slow start. Let's remember, first of all, that security in our OES, single sign-on, extremely secure. It's a closed community. Users are verified. Don't sweat the load, okay? You don't have to worry, or uh, as you and I were discussing earlier, folks, we don't need to be majoring on the minors. Let, let on passive do the heavy lifting. Let them worry about things. We just do what we do and we enjoy life. Uh, you also mentioned uh, craziness uh, as you and I were talking before you went live about the online business and what we can expect. And, uh, you know, I was, I think it was, I want to say it was Colin or somebody, maybe it was Gene, somebody on another webinar that really started sparking my thoughts. And I remembered that there was a term that came out in 1987 called VUCA, V-U-C-A, and it's referring to what you were referring to unknowingly in that today's business environments, they're volatile, they're uncertain, they're challenging, and they're ambiguous. And then you were talking about MLM, right? Now, MLM, if you look at a real MLM, it, it's a good model. Look at Mary Kay. It's nothing really to be afraid of. What, what has happened, though, is you had companies that really started to veer off what that truly was, and it, they made scams and schemes out of them, and they just they drove, drove them right into the ditch. So that now the terminology, when we use that, red flags go up in our brain, and we're like, oh, MLM, oh, bad, bad, bad. They're not, but still, that is not us. That is not on passive. Now, you had uh, you, you brought up a topic last night that I was glad that you did, and it kind of took us back to 1918 uh, and 1919 or 2018 and 2019. <clears throat> and when you look at how we started, we started in that MLM matricacy kind of, but it didn't take us long for Mr. Mufara to come out and say, whoa, wait a minute. We are changing everything we're doing, and we're going in a new direction. We're not going to be doing the MLM uh, stereotype businessing, that kind of a marketing platform. We're getting rid of the columns, you know, the uh, the matrix, the uh, the sheets we used to fill out with columns and money and who goes deep and who goes wide and all that. He said, we're doing totally away from that. But we had already had so many people in with that mindset Man, it took us a while to really get it and to leave that behind. So that's kind of how we started because we, that was what was available. That was the mentality for online. We were going to jump in and using that paradigm, using that model, Mr. Mufara was going to make it a lot better and make it so that we could all guarantee our successes on there. Mid-2019, we took a big right turn. We went from marketing to AI and digital transformation. It was the middle of 2019 and Ash had come out in April and said, you know what? We've been busting our butt for several months. We finally got it right. We figured it out and we're going information technology. That's when we turned that corner from a marketing platform with an online business marketing MLM scenario into the digital transformation of information technology, which, by the way, is Mr. Mufara's wheelhouse. I mean, that is his shtick. He's been doing it for 25 years. He's had multiple businesses, very, very successful. And once we made that, started doing all the uh, the IT stuff, he also says, oh, wow, uh, we got to have AI because we need efficiencies and we need automation and we can't do it without AI. And then 
the step further, which brought it in-house. They, they, they couldn't find the text on the outside to do what needed to be done. That's how big his vision was. Things did not exist that we needed. So then he said, let's go get the engineers. Let's go get the developers. And I don't mean newbies fresh out of school or something like that. I mean, these are seasoned veterans in tech communities that have a dozen, 15, 18 tech years under their belt. These, I mean, these aren't schlock. These are, these are the best of the best that he brought in and started sharing that vision. And together, they all got that bailiwick going. And that's what we ended up with, with on Passive, an AI IT company that is massive we're global we're we're absolutely on fire and so that's where we are today we are not what we started out as and we don't even resemble anything in print for a company that we started out as so life is good i'm gonna take a breather i mean i can keep right on going because i have some things in my head i'd really like to get out but uh go ahead marty no it's very good i mean all this stuff like you said where we were what was going See, during the journey, we were going to go to a location, but it was a stop by where asked oh, 10 years from now, I'll go there. That's where I really want to go, but we'll go here first. But while he was going there, like Jeffrey said, he went, wait a minute, with this momentum, and I believe Ash knew internally, inside, we got to go. Now's the time. It, it, there is no waiting. And like Jeffrey said, when he pivoted around the first quarter, after the first quarter of 2019, I know I was here. You could feel something. There was a quake. Like, the, okay, whatever was going on, we have just switched into, we went from a prop plane to a supersonic something. Okay, we knew something had changed. And Ash decided, let's just, let's do what I really want to do. Let's do what I really want to do. Let's not do a pit stop. Just go to that destination. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't, I've said this a long time ago. Look, I believe, I'm not, I don't like talking about numbers, but I'm going to talk about results. I know, and I'm going to say it, I said it before, Amazon created 40,000 millionaires through their affiliate program wow right but he they weren't trying to ash wants people to be very very successful do you think he could do 10 times that eh, i think maybe and by the way are we going to have one product no you know how people say to you hey you need different streams of income here's what i want you to do when you get a chance over the weekend go to a hardware store like lowe's or home depot and go to the plumbing department and I want you to look at the rows and rows of faucets. That's on passive. No joke. You're going to have enough water. You're going to need scuba gear, okay? So don't worry about streams of income, really. I mean, get yourself a very big vessel because you're going over Niagara Falls with this sucker. Because he never limited anything. That's why people say, and, and that's another thing that I, last night we were talking about. Um, a lot of people looking on passive short-sighted. I'm not making I'm not making fun of people, it's a human instinct. None of us were thrown into a multi multi-unicorn company at birth. No one, including Ash Mafara, no one on the planet was jumped was thrown into a thing like this. So as the journey happened and the companies migrating or evolving from a worm to a butterfly okay we had to go with it mentally and and it was hard to go through this change you know yeah we hooked upside down we didn't know what we were doing the cocoons coming around us what's happening we're changing into that butterfly which is on passive where we're going and we didn't i i didn't understand 100 percent, but I, I i always said don't worry about this. Let's worry about where we're going. And then you start seeing stuff they're doing. And that's all I'm asking people to do. I don't believe in motivating. I believe in inspiring. I You can only motivate yourself. Nobody can talk you into doing something. 
But think about where we went, and all of a sudden you're going, whoa, this is freaking huge. And it, to be part of that and to know that no matter what we do or what's going on, like right now, I don't care what business, look, even bring in your family. What person do you know in your entire life that is working for you has spent tens of maybe hundreds millions millions of dollars for you to become successful i don't know anybody the fact there is no one so and when when and i i said this every day this week when chris johnson asked asked what could the founders do for you he goes be happy what the brick i thought just be happy we're gonna do all the heavy lifting and tell the truth Say what you know. Some people want to be a reporter. They want to be Jimmy Olsen. I got the story first. Why? Why? It would be better to give the story last and be truthful. And if you don't know something, swallow your pride and say, I'm not sure. I believe it could be this. This is my opinion. But I don't know. And until I hear it from Ash, it's nothing. Even when I saw stuff in the Mideast, because I am a rooting pig i root everywhere to find out what's going on where am i at i got stuff coming from all over and i'll see something going on i believe with unpassive i could put it together in my head maybe i don't even touch it i want the company to deliver that i want the company you know because what happens we're always wrong i mean every time somebody brings it hey look what the company's look what i found okay jimmy olsen you didn't find anything because and then later on ask comes on and goes you got the company right, but that's not the story behind it. You know, so let's let's wait, let the company deliver that. Uh, another thing, I was talking to Mike last night, and he said, very important, make sure, make sure you. Sorry about that. That's okay. Make sure you learn the products, learn the system. Know what you're in. Know what you have. You don't have to be an expert. I know people hear me talking and maybe Jeff and they get, oh, I don't know how to do that. You don't have to do anything. Look, the most important person in this business is you. Just be you. Be 100% you. Because I've met a lot of you three years ago, four years ago, two years ago, a year and a half ago. And what I've seen you change into is amazing and the person i see you now where you're on screen you might even be doing webinars where a year and a half you were hiding you wouldn't even put your camera on no way am i going to put my name on the on the on, on underneath go from that to speaking on camera in front of hundreds of people that was you anyway that's all that is it's you becoming the best of you company doesn't make you they open a way for you to be the best you can be i know that sounds like a corny thing but it's true i'm going to tell you and this is another thing i've said many times i'm passive by the way red's not doing a live okay <laughs> so um but here's what happens there's people while they're working on stuff or doing stuff they keep it secret because they're worried about it, somebody taking it or stealing it. But here's the facts. This is a big fact. I believe, this is my opinion, there's a lot of inventions, even world-changing inventions or maybe even health things or whatever, where ideas will come to Unpassive Platform. And I'll tell you why I believe that. Because it's a safe zone. It's fertile ground for ideas and you're not going to get squashed by the big dog. Really. You remember in your life, I remember from the 70s till now, you would read something in the paper where this farmer somewhere in the middle of nowhere invented something where he could run off a of chicken poop or whatever and run his car for a month. Well, then what happens? You never hear about him again. Like people pay him off, be quiet, let it go. We like the way things are going. Don't rock the cart. Don't rock the cart. On passive with Mr. Mufara, he wants that info. He wants you to come on. If you come to Mr. Mufara and the and the 
platform of unpassing with a good idea, they will build it. They will build it. If it's needed and good for mankind, they will build it. And other things we talked to me and Jeffrey talked about before we turned the camera on, AI. And a lot, there's a generation there that they're scared to death of AI. It's, it's mainly my generation. <laughs> anyway, but here's, here's what you have to look at. Anytime something new happens in the history of man, anytime, the car came out. There was people that sat back and said, oh, this, this is the sign of the devil. It's the end of the world. They're, all of the blacksmiths are going to lose their jobs. What, what are you going to do? We're supposed to be using horses. That thing makes too much noise. But look at the change that the automobile, automotive industry made on the world. How many people are employed because of an automobile from parts to tires to mufflers to, I mean, millions and the same goes with AI. People look at AI, oh, it's going to destroy jobs. It's going to take jobs. But if you go look and really research, you know what they're saying? It will create 12 million more jobs than, they, than it ever takes away. Why? Just wrap your head around this. There'll be jobs that we never heard of because of technology. Just think, well, how can that be? What do you mean, how can that be? How many muffler shops were made before the car was invented? None. Nobody even knew what a freaking muffler was. And what would you need it for? You're going to hook it on a horse? You see my point? Technology changes the industry itself. So they will start. And then kids will come out of school instead of working at McDonald's for four years so they can finally go work where they want to work. They can maybe get into the industry of something new and big like what we're doing now. And anything can scare you. Listen to me, I can kill you with an orange if I hit you hard enough for that. But AI, from what I've seen, all the benefits it's doing for mankind, and there's a lot of them, you, go look and, and check this out for yourself, Benefits, what benefits AI has done up to this point. And you'll be blown away of the technology on how it helps people that are crippled, how it works with agriculture, I mean, all that. It's really, really cool. And the other thing is Ashmubara. I want to end. I want to make sure this comes out every day. If you've got anxiety, oh, when are we going to get this? How that happened? Well, I don't know what. And I can't remember two things: Ashmubara and Unpassable. You know his. You know what he wants. You know where he's going. So if you're worried, it's it's unnecessary. Our sweet bar is going to take care of it. Look at the payments now. They're going through. Boom, 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 boom. He said, give me two weeks. It's only been four days. And they've already tripled that I can see. Easy. And he said, next week it'll be better. Next week it'll be. And people go, I had a guy say to me, oh, Merchant, how hard is it? You know, and I said this before, I know. Amazon does millions of dollars a day. Yeah, but Amazon, when they started, did hundreds of dollars a day. They didn't start where Amazon is today. They started in Amazon back in 1996. Nobody enters the business world as a unicorn or maybe a multi-unicorn. It's a shock. Here's a nobody, because in the world, really, on passive still isn't known, comes up with the kind of money that only companies could dream of. And you think it's going to cause a panic? Yes. So he had to make a hybrid pain system. Why? Because we're a hybrid company that nobody's ever seen. They will work it. One day we will be a, we'll be in a terrarium called Unpassive. It will be locked down and we'll have everything we need internally. And then it's a different story, but it takes time. So we got to go on this journey, be happy. And like I said, wear a different hat. If you were fortunate enough to be a, a, a founder, act like one. You're not a customer until you become a customer. Remember the phone, right? I have an iPhone. <coughs> I wasn't there when they made it. I wasn't there on the journey of making the iPhone. Trust me, you don't think they had bad days? Many people probably lost their jobs over making that phone. But what did I see? I saw the end results in a beautiful box. Oh, this is amazing. 
That'll be on passive when the box opens for people. And that's what matters. I know I've been all over the place, but that's what I do. Plus, I drank a boatload of coffee. I'm going to turn it back over to Jeffrey and let him add a little bit, and uh, we'll keep going. Wow. Um, let me ask you a question here, uh, very pointedly. When you're talking like that and you've got uh, topics, do you want me to interrupt you and just chime in? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Bring, just put your put your hand up, and I know you have a comment. No problem. Gotcha. Jeff. Gotcha. All right. Well, because I, I, mean, won't, I won't shut up. I won't shut up <laughs> if you don't. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, you, you mentioned a lot of things that you talked about um, back when you were talking about the income and having multiple streams of income. Uh, that is a, a perfect way for us to understand that on passive is looking for our success. And they're doing this in such a way. <clears throat> I know that early on, there was a lot of us that were expecting on passive when we launched to launch with a ton of products all at once, big fanfare, pow, 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 you know, whole, you know, Skyworks, everything. Mr. Bavar is not about doing that because we understand too that when you do that and you have people that aren't used to having abundance or wealth and they have all of a sudden got an influx of financial abundance. Now they've got to learn how to deal with it and in six different ways and what to do with it and how, to, and it, it, it can hurt us. And that's just a fact. The way that we're rolling this out with one product, two products a month, maybe something like that. It scales up our financials as much as it scales up on passive. It's, it's doing it the right way. We it's no longer business as usual, Marty. We can't do things the old way. And this is the new way for us to do it, to ensure that our success is met along the way, not only as individuals within on passive, but as on passive, a unicorn company and to thrive in the world of international business. Like, I mean, obviously we're doing that, right? But today, today it demands a lot more different skills. We talked a little bit about that as well. Um, you went and talked about some technologies, uh, in particular, you mentioned AI. Well, there are seven, at least seven technologies right now that are shaping the future that we are locked in step with a knee deep with, you know, wading into our hip at within on passive. You've got the big data, you've got cloud storage, cloud-based storage, you got 5g, you've got AI. Uh, blockchain, uh, the internet of things, you know, connectivity, and obviously the metaverse. Now, these things are things, uh, and I'll explain how, but these are things that we're involved in right now that and Passive is already working on and doing. Now, with the big data, we talked about AI, we've talked about machine learning and big data, right? The amount of data that accumulates globally and continues, man, I'm, it's climbing exponentially every year now there's a company out there called uh statista or statista or something like that anyway and they said you know the total amount of data created copied and consumed by everybody in the world is like 65 zettabytes i, I mean that's a thousand 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 times more i mean than gigabytes i mean this is just a crazy number right and it's expected to grow that was in 2020 now it's, ex it's ex expected to grow to you know um three times that by 2025 and big data on passive is going to be using it and we use it to improve operations within on passive everything from marketing and customer experience strategies to supply chains, manufacturing. You know, we're in manufacturing. You've seen the on passive robot. You know, you know, we got physical things being done, right? Supply warehouses, developing training programs for employee. I mean, just huge stuff. Cloud-based storage. We talked about that. We're we're in it knee deep. Mr. Mufar knows all about it, loves it. We're we're using that not only in on passive with the technical operations of on passive, but massively 
with the data systems and the data centers that we're coming out with, which we've got already a data center. We got three more of them coming out of the way. We'll probably learn more about that first quarter of next year. 5G, uh, there's not a lot of people talking about that because specifically we are, we're, when you mention 5G, you think cell phones. But 5G is a fifth generation of mobile networks. That's true, but it offers faster data speeds, a lot lower latency, which we've talked about. And some of the iTech pros, Collins and them have talked about latency before. And it gives us a lot greater capacity than previous generations. So 5G is huge. And it's going to be used in healthcare, manufacturing, autonomous vehicles, which is huge. And this is where we kind of get into it more specifically. And Mr. Mufar has talked about it because he has talked and is a big advocate of uh, a virtual reality and augmented reality. We're getting into those things. And 5G is able to support that high, <clears throat> excuse me, that high bandwidth that we're talking about, those applications in VR and AR, and that allows for the immersive experiences that is gonna set us apart with some of the technologies and some of the things that on passive is coming out with. He's also interested in or mentioned that uh, he's not adverse to gaming. <clears throat> gaming is going to be using 5G, but he also let us know that it's not going to be gaming like it's going to have to be wholesome. It's going to have to be learning. It's going to have to be something that's worthy of on passive to get into. So, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> excuse me. You also mentioned AI, artificial intelligence. Now that we're already into, you know it, because he's talked about machine learning. He's talked about the automation and the integration of all of our products and services within the OES, but we're using it outside of the OES as well. I mean, you're using it in finances and marketing and things like that, but we're going to be using it overall. And there's a lot of uh, businesses using it and it disrupts traditional business model simply by automating tasks. We talked about the automation. It improves and, and quickens the uh, decision-making processes, you know, and creates uh, the new products and things of that nature that you were talking about. When you have new technologies come out, other technologies are caught up in its wake and developed as a result of resourcing and supporting that new technology. So AI is huge and we're, we're, we're in this. We're, I mean, we're already there. Blockchain. Blockchain, uh, that's a distributed ledger technology that enables secure, transparent actions. And we're going to be using blockchain, right? I mean, he's, he's talked about this. This is the technology. This is the stuff that's going into the world now. We're going forward with all this stuff. And it's going to be used in all sorts of things. Healthcare, digital identities, uh, supply chain management, just tons of stuff. Smart contracts, which are on the rise. They're complicated, but man alive, talk about security. And you know, Mr. Mufar is all about security. There's also the internet of things, which is the connectivity, right? This one talking to this one, talking to this one, talking to this one. We're doing that. We're, we're implementing every bit of this stuff. Um, we've been talking about IoT for a long time, but these things are progressing. And as on passive moves into the future and we start developing more of what he wants coming out of the innovation labs, which is not only inventions, but it's new technologies, new digital technologies and solutions, right? Then we start being able to handle more stuff with the 5G and with the better data and the, the, the latency uh, reductions. Then overall, we're talking metaverse. When you start talking um, VR or AR, you know, those types of uh, realities, you're getting into metaverse and that gives you a whole ton of stuff, man. I, that's huge by itself. So I, I wanted to get that out to let people know this is where on passive is. And that's where we're headed. That's where we're going right now with a lot of these technologies. Now there's also, I'm going to give a, a breather here, but there's also some skills we need going forward that we're already doing. And there's also technologies on the rise that we're going to see in the next probably five years and you will see on passive on a bent towards that we're already heading that direction but we we can talk about those so that you can see where on passive is going as well so thank you i appreciate that and I, I hate to disrupt or interrupt you when you're talking 
But boy, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm chomping at the bit, going, man, I, I want a topic. I want to hear. So thank you. No, 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 I, no, I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. I mean, I love it. In fact, it gives me some uh, ideas and stuff while while you're talking. I'm listening. What you know, what I could add and all. So. Yeah, I've been putting in like below what 5G is, and now I just put in metaverse. And it, it there's so many things that it, it should be exciting for us because one thing is it's being done for us, so we don't really have to do it. And we can learn as we earn. Pretty neat concept. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> start Learn something totally new every day and get paid to do it. Get paid to use products that are a lot of fun. Uh, the other day, like I said, my granddaughter, uh, uh, Alexis, was here, and I showed her O'Connect, and she has an account. I said, you can use this. She goes, what's all the buttons for? And I started showing her, and she went, oh, wow, that'd be a lot of fun. Can everybody see that when I do it? I said, yeah, if you invite them on. Who can I invite? Anything, Anybody you want. They just have to get signed up free. Oh, that is so cool, you know. And let me tell you, once you get that generation in who really are wrapped around AI, trust me, they are. AI, IT, uh, technical stuff. My grandson can jump on anything and do anything with it, anything to do with computers, and he's eight. You know how hard it is and how humbling it is when you have to ask him how to fix something? <laughs> you know it's what? A That's a good thing. point. I was talking, I uh, had a conversation going with uh, <clears throat> Magna over in uh, India. She sent me a picture of her three-year-old daughter using O'Connect. Three years old on the computer, and it was amazing. So, yeah. No, I mean, uh, We're getting that. I know. Mm. And, and, and the other thing, if for everybody here, us older, older people, Try it, you'll like yeah. it. You can't break it, right? Go go try it. You'll find out, oh, this is pretty cool. That's how I found out. I'm not, look, men don't take directions, right? They get something, they put it together, and then they look at the directions, figure out why was one leg bigger than the other one. But <coughs> it, on, on passive, it's there to test it. You can't break it. And I think if more people that do that, the more you see what we have, you're going to want to share it. I'm sorry. I don't I don't ask anybody to market. That's a joke. But sharing, I mean, I tell everybody, if they come up, what are you doing? You know, it's so simple, too. Hey, Marty, how come at the end of your email you say you're not going to be using Gmail in the future? Oh, I switched over <laughs> to something else. Why? Because I, I don't like companies selling my, tech, my, my, my information, my data. It, data's money, and I think you know, and it's not like they're it's not like they're sharing the the profits with me. Hey, it's you know what? Fair, you know, so you bring up a good point with with talking about um, the uh, going into the back office and and playing with things. You're, you're right. We're not going to break it, but we have a responsibility as members, especially charter members of On Passive and those members coming in after we launch, we have a responsibility to go back there and do exactly that because that is also part of the beta testing being used to implement new ideas and features and functionality and test them. And that becomes part of the scaling up after we could put those in place. So Absolutely. they put stuff in there. You go in, new buttons, new this, new that, new information, click, 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 click. It's being monitored 24-7, and you have text over there. I mean, these guys are frothing at the mouth waiting for information so that they can go in and tweak or fix or rearrange or do exactly something right. to make these exactly better. Right. And when that happens, bingo, guess what? The lights go on, more ideas come up. That's where Ash is getting this stuff from. We do something on this end, it shows up over there, and they go, wow, here's a eureka moment. And now how many of these features is he coming up with and putting in there as a result of what we found here using the interface? We Absolutely. have a responsibility. Absolutely. And with machine learning or people learning, you have to give it the data to understand how to learn. You yeah. know that chat, that chat box, people say, oh, well, you know, shall I use it? You should use it every day. And if it and go through the whole process, did that help you? No, and because that's how it learns. The more you use a chat box, 
a chat bot, the smarter it gets, the smarter it gets, the better it will deliver. It's just the way it is. Yeah. It's taken it, it's taken the data and then it's given it back. It's taken the data and it's given it back. One day you talk, it starts off in kindergarten and at oh, six months down the road, it's Einstein. And it's only because it took all that information, it can remember it. It, it goes by what worked and what didn't. I mean, you look at uh, what, these things you I got at home where you can call it, just yell it out, and it'll give you the answer. How yeah. did that happen? It happened from people using it over and over and over and over. It's machine learning. It's learning all the different aspects of what could be going on. So it's, it's yeah. pretty cool. The, the AI that we're using within the machine learning in particular, right, uh, and also the machine language, they have, they have a language that's I won't get into that machine learning that, that you're talking about that handles the big data. I mean, huge data and learns like that. It, what we're talking about is it mimicking and becoming more, uh, what we call emotional, emotional intelligence, our AI, our chat bot within on passive will be emotionally intelligent. It will be able to, as you said, when we start, it's going to be probably a little bit weird, but the more it interacts with you, Marty, personally, and Jeffrey personally, or you know, Minu personally, it's gonna it's gonna recognize you. It's gonna it's gonna you're gonna feel it's gonna feel you out. It's gonna know you better. And every day, every day, every day, it gets more personal. It gets to be able to almost read your mind. That sort of thing. Yep. That's where we're going. That's where you know what. While we're at it, let me tell you. Where on passive and on passive is huge. We are AI and we are IT and we are here to stay and we are heading into the future at a very fast rate. Fast rate. Let me let me tell you about some disruptive technologies where I see on passive going in the next five years, so that we can kind of we see where a, a little bit ago I listed I think six or seven of the disruptive technologies we're in right now. Right now, we're doing those things. The AI and the IoT and the metaverse and all that stuff, we're in it. We're in it right now. Mr. Mufar, is, that's his play pit. He is loving it. But we've got technologies also coming up in the future that are, are going to be a part of business that's going to shape the world. Machine customers, right? Now, that goes back to machine learning and data, right? Machine customers, these are non-human um economic actors, uh, if you will, that get goods and services in exchange for payment. This, this is, these are machines. These are entities, digital personalities buying stuff. I mean, for a lot of organizations, the idea of selling to a machine customer is not a reality, but it's, but it's, it's time. That's where it's going. That's where we're heading right now. And eventually, you know, if you're a salesperson, a sales leader, especially, you're going to have to start looking at and developing sales forces that can effectively navigate the challenges of human, machine, and like you mentioned earlier, hybrid, hybrid selling environments. We're going there. I'll guarantee on passive is. There's also generative, generative AI. Um, it learns from existing uh What's the word they use? Artifacts, I, I guess, which which is kind of nebulous. But to generate new, realistic information, reflecting the characteristics. And you were talking about training and that sort of stuff. That's what that's going to be doing. It's going to be developing new training data and new characteristics of the artifacts, the information that it pulls in. Not to repeat it, right? It can produce... Uh, its own images. We're seeing it with chat uh, GPT, uh, images, video, music, speech, text. And these things are write stories and, uh, you know, it'll blow your mind. It generates. That's what I mean. When you say generative AI, it generates new content. It generates brand new things. New, you give it an idea, it's going to reach out and it's going to grab everything it can find. It's going to put it all together. It's going to spit something out for you and generate a new picture. As a matter of fact, if you look at the picture on my uh, YouTube, that tree that goes up on one side, it's AI and on the other, it's heart. That was generated by AI for me. So 
So, I mean, that's that's a one of a kind, just to give you an idea. I thought it was beautiful. We yeah, also talked about uh, amazing yeah. stuff, Jeff. Yeah, know. augmented reality, virtual reality. By 2025, they're telling us 80% of business to business sales is going to have interactions with uh, the suppliers, between the suppliers and the buyers. It's going to occur digitally in digital channels. This is where we're going, guys. On passive, it's already looking at this stuff. So we're ahead of the curve. We've been ahead of the curve. You've heard Mr. Mufara say three years ago, we're five years ahead of the market. Five years ahead of the market. That was then. And we're still jumping into it. I mean, it could be a critical sales channel to anybody for sales meeting and product demonstration and training. And you know it. And we've already got, look at O Academy coming out, O Connect. Look at these digital that burn a lot of digital bandwidth. These are the products that are going to be streaming and, and using and interacting with all of these things. Of course, you've also got digital humans. We, we're talking about avatars already. Remember? Did you see the new video? Uh, o Media put out a new video. And it it's, it's whoever the, the, the media person is but it's a digital version of her. And I'm thinking, okay, you're going to tell us this is, a, and she's like, well, she, I mean, threw me for a loop. She wasn't talking about her as a digital avatar. She said, you can see this stuff by look, here's our new robot. And it showed a robot, an AI robot. I'm like, I mean, she just blew my mind with all that stuff. Digital humans, they're interactive AI driven representations, for lack of a better word, that exhibit the characteristics, the personality, the knowledge, the mindset of a person, right? And it says by 2026, about half of the business-to-business -business buyers are going to be interacting with these. I mean, it's it's crazy where we're going, but this is where on passive is going as well. And there's also uh, emotional AI. We talked about that. They help this empathic ability right? to to alter the engagement. Uh, and most reality, that's the one that is coming up. It just means that there's going to be a lot of different ways for sellers to. Uh oh. And they, you, got kicked, and you got you got kicked off for a second, Jeffrey. I had to bring you back on. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. sorry about that. I'm not sure what was going on, but the you blew, moment, up, your, you blew up. You blew up your router. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm loving this because this is where we're going. If we can get people to understand, stop looking at on passive like a risk or anything like we are solid, stable, founded, grounded. Man, we are rocking and rolling and we have things going on. I've talked about this before. I've talked about the OES, the on passive ecosystem is primarily what the, the audience, our, our audience sees, our market sees. They don't see the innovation labs sitting over in the Burj Khalifa. They don't see the data centers. They don't see the strategic partnerships. They don't see the marketing and branding. They don't see the physical products all backing up everything, all the peripherals backing up what we are. We are so big, so strong, so fast, so sweet, and so red. Nobody's going to be able to touch us, Marty. I mean, it's just the way it is. And, and I, I know I get excited when it's, you know, it's, I like big pictures. Yeah, I me don't, too. Like don't sing it. <laughs> no, 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 me too. Hey, listen, you know, another thing to, to add a little bit to what you were saying, you remember As said that in, in some of the malls in uh, uh, over in Dubai and that they have they have they have actual videos that analyze who walks up to the camera. Like yeah, 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 yeah. sees a yep, sees a man stand there with a briefcase and a little kid. Okay, he's a grandfather, but he's a businessman. We're going to show this ad. Let me tell you something. That is amazing. And you that's bet. going on. It's going to go on and on. And like Jeffrey said, the world's going there. The difference is it's going to be led there through on passing. That is, yep. that's a big deal. It's a big deal. That, and, and like what, when you're, when you're think, I just like Jeffrey said, we're thinking too small. There's too much going on. This this monster was let loose, okay? Ash himself could not pull the reins back and stop this monster. There's no way. In fact, he's riding it for everything he can. 
That's why he's working as hard as he is because it's it's on its way. It's on its way to cover the blanket the world, and he's got everybody all hands on deck. It's rough. It's it's you can see it in his face. He's working hard. So, but listen, and I'll I'll have Jeffrey back on here. No doubt. This is a lot of fun. We could actually. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and I know people love it. I'm watching the chat, and the amount of people watching is increasing. It's not going down, which is... We got more time? Yeah, yeah, we're good. He's not coming on. Great. You know what you just reminded me of? And this is a little piece of... I know you love trivia, right? But the algorithms that you're talking about being generated by the AI cameras, software, looking at granddad with the kids, right, on vacation, that algorithm... That's where we're heading. That's that is the evolution of digital transformation. Now, here's the here's the, the kicker for you. It's nothing new. It's been happening for eons, and we can do that. We live that way. We generate that ourselves with our thoughts, right? Our thoughts are electric. They're uh, electrical in nature. Our heart and emotions are magnetic in nature, and that electromagnetic wave goes out, and it looks for things that match that frequency to bring back into our lives. That's exactly what that algorithm is doing you were talking about. And when you log on to Google or Facebook and you're like, well, how did they know I was looking at shoes? You know, you go look at shoes and then 30 minutes later in your it's email, you got a shoe commercial. That's exactly That's because right. they're, they're looking at what you're interested in and they're finding other stuff and they're bringing it to you. Just And that's how God works. I mean, that divine consciousness that we've all got, that's that same way. I mean, it's got to be great. It's got to be good stuff, you know? And th But this is what On Passive is doing. Now, On Passive, if you think about Mr. Mufar, you know, you just got to appreciate that man for who he is and what he does. Um, and I know you, like me, when I first started watching him on those videos, that's that's what we saw. We saw the heart of what he was trying to do. And on passive has never faltered in keeping those philosophies, those corporate philosophies, the AI with heart that he termed, he, he coined that phrase back in uh, 2019. I remember when he was asking, because we were talking back and forth and I had come up with uh, heart and technology and he came up with heart uh, AI with heart. And I'm like, Oh, that's even better yet. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but he's got what it takes to do what he needs to do. And I've said before that, I mean, this thing was ordained by God. This, this is something that is set in motion oh, and he's at the end of the hour. There's nobody else that could have done this the way that he's doing it simply yeah. because he is who he is and everything that he's done has led up just like the rest of us. We are all where we are because of the decisions we make, but there are some skills specifically that we can appreciate that Mr. Mufar has got. Okay. First of all, think about this because this is how the company runs cross cultural communication skills. That man has got those in spades because any role or function in an international business like like we are means that we're working in multiple uh very diverse workplaces with diverse people and cultures and whether colleagues like you and i or clients or customers or members understanding how to communicate across these cultures is absolutely indispensable and that man has got it in spades and it's certainly well represented by him in the company and all you have to do is look at the uh the founder base the charter member base and even the strategic partners to, to see that, right? He's got to have, of course, this, again, this is his training, excellent networking. I mean, that man has got networking abilities out to wazoo, right? In international business, it becomes more and more important even. And on passively, I mean, we certainly do that. And we have strong uh, network connections outside of home, right? Uh, our home country, rather. We're global, 220 countries. How many founders have we got? in there you know more than a million i mean there's a ton of them now there's there was a report that i read about i think it was 80 percent of jobs are now landed through networking and i mean you're a networker marty you know these things i, I know that you know them anyway right not to mention look at the uh, strategic partnerships that we've developed over in dubai some of the things that he's done with that collaboration we we talked about digital uh transformation and collaborative spaces 
Uh, on passive has <clears throat> within its own corporate setting a collaborative space. It is a collaborative space for their techs, their developers, and their engineers. The OES is a very big digital collaborative space where people go and grab whatever they need to fuel whatever dreams they have, right? And we need this, especially in uh, international business, because it's not it's not enough just to build the networks. You got to be able to work well with others. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about an ability to work together for a common purpose, like you and I are doing at a small scale right here, or the founder base or the charter members are doing on the large base. But either way we go, I mean, Ash has got that. He's got it covered too. Interpersonal influence. Those people that we can influence, right? The ability to influence others. Got to have that. On passive has got that. We've got that going on. Man, everything from encouraging employees to adopt new ways of working to convincing products uh, to be sold or whatever to customers. We got to have it. Adaptive thinking. The, the entire charter base of, of members for on passive was called early adapters, right? Early adopters because adoptive thinking. And, and that brings us back to the changing environment. We were talking about the VUCA, the, the volatile, uh, ambiguous and challenging. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's tough. It's a tough market, but we've got to have the confidence to react and we've got to be able to adapt quickly to that changing environment that you're talking about with all the technologies that are brought up a little while ago when you said, you know, when you come out with a, a, an immersive major technology, you've got all these offshoots of other supportive technologies. And we've got to be able to adapt them and think out of the box to bring in these new solutions. And it's an ever changing environment. And this is something, again, he does in spades. I mean, so he is well equipped. <clears throat> to do exactly what he's doing. And I don't think anybody, the last one I'm going to mention, and I love this because he shows us every day resilience. That man and on passive has got absolute resilience, right? I mean, unequivocally, we have to have this mental toughness. That's what we're talking about when we talk about resilience, right? On a practical level, Look at Mr. Mufar and what he's doing. I mean, he's working across time zones. He's working across cultures. I mean, long hours, 20, 22, 24 hour days sometimes. Failures, setbacks, challenges, they're, they're a part of life, right? They are a part of life. We knew and he forecasted, we're gonna be doing these and we're gonna hit some challenges. We knew the challenges were there. And, and that goes back to what you were saying earlier when you're saying, hey, stop sweating the small stuff. These are things that we expected. We knew they were going to happen. Now, we've hit some challenges we didn't expect. You know, we did not expect to crash and burn with the processing. I mean, that was a biggie for us. It kind of, whoa, all right, I'll stop. Let's figure out what's going on here. But it works. And all through this, the resilience that he has demonstrated is just phenomenal. And that rolls right into the our passive corporate structure. So, And these skills. And again, I'm getting, uh, I'm going to let it go. But man, I'm telling you, these, you know, we're in a good spot with on passive. And if you want to grow with on passive, just jump in, take a look around, like what you were saying. Take a look around. If you see something you like, grab it. It's probably free right now. And if not, you can get a trial for it. That's right. You know, spin the wheels, kick the tires, have fun with it. <laughs> That's exactly right. You know. I was thinking, Jeffrey, while you were saying, you said a lot. I was thinking of a lot to say. Uh, but, I, 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 you know, we talked about the metaverse when you brought that up. And I see now, I put one on. My son has one of those. Oh, let me tell you something. I put it on. And when I put it on, I looked over to the right. And there was a dinosaur laying in the grass. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's as real as you are on the screen. Yeah. And I looked up and I went, in fact, I could feel my heart racing because he was closer than I thought. Now, was he really there? No, it doesn't matter, but my mind thought he was. Yep. So I looked over and this thing started standing up, but it was a bar Baranosaurus. Hey. And it's like 30 feet tall. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking up at him going, wow. <laughs> I'm all, uh, can anybody see this? You know what I mean? My but, son did that oh, for me. Amazing. And when I put those on and after I got adjusted, <coughs> I was looking over a ledge. And I'm telling you, 
I knew I was in my living room and I knew that ledge was not there. But my brain was saying, you idiot, get away from the ledge. Get away, you might fall nowhere. Yeah, I know. And and the cool thing about it, now they're coming out with, um, you know how people buy the Peloton bike, they buy a weight set, they buy all this stuff. They're doing a workout thing using those where these things fly and you punch them in the air and you get scores. So you're working out with like weights in your hand, but you're punching these things that are coming at you in your mind. Oh, it's crazy. I'll give you one better to tie something crazy. into that. And it goes back to the magnificence of who and what we are. It's proven. Dr. Joe Dispenza did hours and hours and hours of study. And I love what you were saying, you know, Hey, you know, you can be a bodybuilder without, you know, without having to lift weights. <laughs> yeah. That is literally true. <clears throat> it has been proven that if you sit for 15 minutes a day and you think and you visualize curling with weights at the end of uh, 30 days, they can test your strength. And obviously that's going to change. But more than that, they, they map your neurons and they can, they can literally see the new neurons that you created and the new muscle that was created just by you thinking it. So th this is, this is what we're tapping into. I'm telling you, this is no, crazy. no, 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 I know. Listen, uh, I've always believed this. I've read it. I know, you know, we talk about Ash. He, he's relentless. Here's what Ash is. He's fearless. Yeah. He's absolutely fearless. He does things that the average person, why would you do it? And I'm thinking, you know, I go to bed and I worry about my grandkids. I got my kids. I got the house. He has all that and a million people around the world. He's got people. He's got to make sure they get paid. They got uh, medical. They got, boom, he's hired. He's got, and I'm thinking, and we're going to sit back and worry about something that yeah. big. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. almost embarrassing. So I, I, I always put things into perspective of, wait a minute. Okay, whoa, peace. What have we done? What do we owe? I'm not paying the electric. Okay, I'm just sitting back re, re, uh, reaping the reward. And I think if you look at all the stuff like Jeffrey's bringing up, this is the kind of stuff that, believe it or not, that, that I'm going through every day in my head looking at, wow, we could do this, we could do that, we could do Listen, Jeffrey was just talking. And you know what I'm passive is? It's a buffet for everyone. A company could come in and say, I don't like spaghetti, but I like ham. I'm going to take a little bit of that O Connect. I'm going to take a little touch of that, that, and I'm going to a little bit of uh, O Tracker. And I take them, and they can make little packages that they want. And because we're going to have everything, not even, we don't even know what the physical products are, that is what companies want. They want a one touch, one sign on, single sign on powerful you touch it you get it you do this you do that and you don't have to leave it's time saving look the most valuable thing in your life is your time nobody knows how long we're going to be here and and i when i was marketing i had to jump from 10 different apps and reading different stuff and doing different stuff and by the time i got to app number 10 i forgot what the game plan was for that day because you're so wrapped up in what's going on. And on Passive, you're on O-Connect. We did a video today from on Passive. We're on O-Connect, and somebody brings up something, and go, oh, hold on. And you put a calculator up, and you do it while you're in the meeting. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to leave. You're doing a meeting, and you can say, hey, there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about, but I really don't have the time. I want to pick one. Which one do you think we should talk about? And you do a poll. There's a thousand people there and you put the poll up. Are we going to talk about A or are we going to talk about B today? It's up to you guys. They vote on it. It's B. You tell them, okay, 80% of people said B. We're going to talk about B today. Where could you do that? Yeah, that's real time. Yeah. <laughs> it's real time. It's real time. And when people see that and companies say, listen, I hear people say, you know, what about what? I'm going to tell you right now. To have... 25 people on the panel and have a 10,000 room capacity, which we get is six grand a month in one of the companies. I don't like mentioning names. Oh yeah. Six grand yeah. a month. Yeah. You get the lights, you know, I'm like, no, 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 stop. 
Somebody told me the price. I said, don't tell me the price. I do all this stuff. That's for a that's for a meeting, not a webinar. A webinar is six grand a month for that. Assets paid eight grand to ten grand. I'm not even counting all of them. I'd probably ten grand a month, 120 grand a year since what 2019? <laughs> not no joke. Yeah. <clears throat> so that we could communicate. Let me tell you what, it paid off in space. Why? We built relationships, we're in something really cool. But like Jeffrey said, could you imagine having his brain in your head? That would hurt. But no, imagine, but there's nothing wrong with that. I love that stuff. When I talk with Mike and Dan, we we leave the planet and we go where the man has gone before. I enjoy it. I, 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 could, I could tell last night, anytime I go to a webinar, there's a couple key people. If I talk, if they're there, I know it's going to be a crazy meeting. If Jeffrey's there and I go on, I go, uh-oh, this could be, this could be fun. But it's only because... You're inspired to think, and, and I believe, you know, I, I had brought this up many times, and I'm going to say it now in front of Jeffrey. When you're a kid and you're growing up, you have no boundaries. There's no fence. You, you're, the, the field's wide open. It's all green grass, beautiful life ahead of you. I could be an astronaut. Where I could be a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then as you get older, you start seeing this fence coming in and this wall. And finally, you get in your 50s and 60s, and you don't even own a acre a lot in your head not one acre now when you were a kid it was endless you couldn't even see the fence on passive is endless knock the fence down get rid of the wall it's not there it's a lie you know i told you know the what? story about the pigs jeffrey my, my uncle owned pigs and they were in a lot and i told the story 50 times yep. i want to say it again they owned a lot and it was up three foot off the ground was electric fence my uncle said Hey, we're going to get these pigs to go into the new lot where there's new grass. It's beautiful. Piece of cake, I thought. So what? We took the fence down, and guess what? The pigs walked up where the fence used to be and stopped dead. And they didn't, they could not believe that there's no fence, even though it wasn't there. Once the first pig put his nose over, they all went. That's people. People are the same way. They, they're afraid. I'm not stepping on that. Listen. I'm passive. It's a safe zone. I, that's where I came up with the cool zone. But I believe it's a safe zone. I think you can. You need to go. You need. You need to look back in life and say, "I ran this thing as fast as I could. I did what I wanted. I helped other people. I I lived life to the fullest." Because I guarantee you, drive by a cemetery. That's where the treasure's buried. People that lived the life and never really lived. Never really lived. I'm passive. Can outlive you, out dream you. So why not live it? Why not do what you can do? All of you deserve it. Ruth Pace, David Switzer, I see all these names. You are number one. Key Wendell, he's writing about you now, Jeffrey, the professor. Uh, oh. But but everybody, you you deserve oh, to be I'm here. Sorry. I was supposed here. to tell you hello for Key. I totally gaffed that. That's all right. I, I, I know Key. But you know what? You were talking about what we thought as a child you know, uh, uh, scripturally, we're t we're told, you know, that if you're looking for the kingdom, you got to become like a child. Ashes talks Absolutely. about exactly what you're talking about: taking your dream down off that shelf, dusting the shelf, dusting those dreams off. The reason that we need to become like a little child is because we haven't been filled with the programming that the world gives us between exactly. the ages of one and like eight. Right? Exactly. We don't exactly. have that critical thinking. We don't have that logical ability. And to, to so we take in, we're like a sponge, right? Yep. Um, neighbors, parents, siblings, everything that comes at us, that's what develops us. Absolutely. And then after eight, wow, we're already programmed with what the world says. But that, before that, exactly. you know, we're living in, in, in the, the, the lower uh, brain. You know, the, it's all limitations, Jeffrey. Yeah, it's all yeah. limit. It's limitations that were built around us, and we start to conform to what we believe is what we're worthy of. And, and we're not, carrying that right into on passive with that, us. That's, that's exactly that's right. What you're saying is exactly right. that. Everything can take it out to the trash because that's where it belongs. Yep. And and I know that's what I love about on passive. When I see people with anxiety and worried and all. I almost don't get it because I I know 
What I don't know is so big because of what I do know is beyond my belief. It's just beyond what I could imagine. So live your life, do your best. You are number one. You deserve to be here. And by the way, be you. You have a gift of something. Find out what it is and run with it. On Passive is the platform that can set you free and you can do whatever you want. That's why As says, remember, <coughs> ask yourself a question. Very important question. Why would the government of Dubai want to be with Unpassive? Why would the AUE, AUE want to be with Unpassive? Why did Egypt want to be involved? Why are they signing stuff with the African nations? Because they looked behind the curtain and they went, oh my God, we want to be part of that. Keep in mind, Dubai is the technological center of the world. I mean, <laughs> it's, they the, are- it's the heartbeat of it. Yeah, it's the heartbeat of it. And listen, they know something. Why would Mr. Kamal come here, A, a uh, an engineer, yeah. a nuclear engineer? Why would Professor Susan come here? She could write her own check. She has President of Egypt calling her. Why would you come to an unknown company? You know why? She knows where we're going. She sees it. She saw it from in here, not from here only. And I'll tell you what, that means a lot to me. I, when I see people like that joining us, why are they doing that? They're not dumb. They're way beyond that. They're way beyond that. They can that do whatever they right want. into the technologists, the engineers, and the developers. Oh, oh, Muhammad, the Muhammad Nazar, yeah. the new people coming. As said, it went yeah. from going to look for people, for people coming to them, and they say, what can you do for us? It's a big difference. Big difference. No, is kind of like our ecosystem in that way, that what we're doing is we're pulling in all of this talent into one place, and that <laughs> is, that's where the development of the new technologies and inventions and the thrust forward momentum is going. So we just need to enjoy it. If you think about it, the AI with heart that Ash came up with, Back in 2019, he's simply saying, look, we've got the technology on one side and we've got the heart. We've got the will, the desire, the resolve to keep an eye out for the planet and for mankind. And when you put those together, nothing's going to stop us. All we need to do is feel good about where we're going and emanate that good energy. You know, life is going to be good for us. We just need to chill out. (laughs) Well, my wife's got to go soon, Jeffrey, and me and you could go till tomorrow. So, Jeffrey, this was fun, man. Yeah, I, had I, a good knew, time. I knew. I, knew <laughs> I hope you did. I'm sure you did. Uh, no, we. I did too. This was. I knew it would be fun, but I didn't, it, it even surpassed what I thought. So, <laughs> and you'll be back. We're going to do it again. Cool. Uh, because I need you here. Well, now, now I need. Now I know that I can interrupt you without being disrespectful. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you. That's that's what I like about this. This is what I always wanted. People go, oh, we go. Forget the script. Hold on, Marty. I got something. You got to. Okay, that's fine. Because how people learn. You know, I, I I'm going to give an example. I talk with Robin Nova at night sometimes, and the conversations we're having. She goes, I wish this was on a webinar. Yeah. That's, what me and you, that's what me and you just did. You had her on the other week where she brought up the uh, numbers. Yeah, the, yeah. And I, I, I thought, wow, that's a good message. I need to put that back out. So, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I mean, though. When you get, when you're in a conversation and you feel like a spectator, that's a good conversation. Yeah. When you're, when you're sitting back watching the movie, too, wow, this is really good. Yeah. I almost forgot I'm involved. You know what I mean? That's that's pretty cool. But I appreciate it, Jeffrey. Thank you Thank so you. much for being here. Close out, say how, goodbye, or whatever you want to do, and then I'll close it down. So Been a load of fun. You. God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you at the top. Beautiful. I got to say one thing, and, and I mean this. Yesterday was Collins' birthday. He's one of my favorite people. But Lystra, she's lonely. It's her birthday today, and nobody sends her a bunch of messages about happy birthday. So I think if you can, you need to send her a bunch of instant messages, letting her know how happy you are that it's her birthday. Now, right now, let's just go on. 
I'm gonna kill him. That's okay. But anyway, happy birthday, Lystra. And uh, I'll see you all. Uh, like I said, go in the back office. There's a lot of webinars. I personally recommend certain ones because I've been there. I like what they've been said. Go to O Heroes tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Uh, they will answer questions until there's no questions. Uh, Mr. Morlock goes there a lot. I go there when I can. Uh, I, I just, if I feel comfortable there, I go. I mean, I, 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 I love it when people are just humble and say the best they can. I don't know everything. And if I don't know, I hope I tell you I don't know. Many times I've come on an eight crow by the pounds or I've made a mistake or said something because that's not what I want. I don't think you need to blow up on passive. On passive is dynamite. Anyway, I love you all. Jeffrey, you're the man. Thank you so much for being here. And guys, I'll see you. And we're almost 500 people. And we're almost an hour and a half. <laughs> anyway, see you all. Bye. I've been looking for something like this for a long, long time. The journey to now has been a roller coaster ride, but it taught me invaluable lessons, skills, and insights. After thousands of hours of research and experience, and investing thousands of dollars in testing many opportunities, both online and offline, I can say that I know what to look for and what to avoid. On Passive has been getting better and better all the time, and helping millions of people in over 150 countries around the planet. Most importantly, Unpassive is here to help us all succeed and is here to stay. Our mission is to serve and uplift humanity. We are the correction for the corruption. Unpassive is a real company with a real CEO, with real staff, real products, which are all above market value. Many have never been seen before. We have real partners, real customers, real sales, real commissions, and real help to unlimited people around the world. On passive will help you save money, save time, and be more efficient and effective. You get more and pay less with On Passive. On Passive is free to try, and we have many free products that will be free forever. If it doesn't save you time and stress, then don't use it. But I'm sure that it will. You have nothing to lose and a lot to gain. If you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave a comment. Click the link in the description below to join on Passive Free and take the tour and get in touch with me if you have any questions. If you would like to be an on Passive affiliate reseller and get free traffic from the company with our efforts that create a traffic tank for the traffic rotator with my support, click become an affiliate at the top of your on Passive ecosystem, read and sign the NDA. There is a video explanation of how to do this in the description below. Contact me with any questions you may have and I will reply immediately. My email is daryl at omail.ai, D-A-R-R-Y-L at O-M-A-I-L dot A-I. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Love, peace and harmony for us all.